I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Alvaro Correa. He is Credit Corp's deputy CEO and sponsor of the sustainability program. Alvaro, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Judy. It's great to be here. A quick note to our viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. Now, Alvaro, in 2020, Credit Corp launched its sustainability program across its companies. Tell me about Credit Corp's 2020 to 2025 commitment to its sustainability program. Thanks, Judy. In fact, we we started uh, about a year ago, probably more than a year ago, with this uh, program. Uh, as we call it, is a sustainability program of Credit Corp. Um, since we um, uh, reached a point in our um, history where we decided that we needed to have a, a comprehensive approach on sustainability for the different companies. We, we needed to take a, a long-term performance view, uh, our competitiveness and the impact on the countries we, we operate have to be seen as a comprehensive part of the business strategy. So we decided to, to go this way and, and we put together a, a very, very um, big effort involving uh, the leaders of the different companies that belong to Credit Corp. We, we put in the same table like uh, around 30 plus 30 uh, people, uh, leaders of these companies in order to uh, create this this uh, strategy, this group strategy uh, that has a component that is uh, group based, but there's uh, other components. There are other components that are probably um, more uh, geared towards the different strategies of the different businesses. So we have to combine the uh, corporate approach with the individual business unit approach. And we um, uh, conducted surveys. We did not do this alone, just 30 people sitting in a room. We had to involve different stakeholders. We conducted, conducted uh, surveys uh, with uh, more than 4,000 people between employees, clients, uh, opinion leaders. And we also did some benchmarking with other companies uh, in the region and in the world of how to do this in, in, the, in the best way. Um, and we, uh, at the end of the, of the uh, previous year of 2020, we came up with this comprehensive strategy that we had to put in place uh, starting in 2020. So that was basically the approach we took. And um, last but not least, the involvement of the board. It was critical for us to have the board uh, on board. and. Uh, to, to make this strategy their strategy and the same with top management in the company and uh, getting all uh, managers and individuals in the group uh, getting involved on, on this. Okay, now Alvaro, in your report, you talk about integrating ESG in every corner of your strategy. Why did Credit Corp make a decision to do this? Um, that's that's a, probably the most important question here because um, sustainability uh, we realized that sustainability had to be part of the business it had to be part of the core activities it has to be embedded in the products in the services in the channels in how people within the company behave and um, it's not just um, uh, social work or separate activities it had to be part of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, it was very important. And even though we had customer centricity as one of the, of the um, pillars of our strategy and employees experience as well, inclusion was also, financial inclusion was also, also part of our, um, our role. But we did not have a, this comprehensive approach and, and make every decision that we uh, make and do uh, in, in the company, in our businesses, to have this sustainability ESG mindset. Uh, for instance, uh, when we develop a product, we not only have to think on the bottom line, on, on, on the market share of that new product, but also the impact on the environment, the impact on uh, the community, the impact on our employees, so that has to be, and the same with when we 
let's say we close a branch or we decided to no longer go after a certain segment or with a certain product, we have to assess the impact on the different stakeholders. So that's, that's really making sustainability part of the business, business strategy. Making a single uh, and unified report of uh, the uh, annual report, the traditional annual report with the sustainability report is just the, the best sign for everyone to see that sustainability is becoming part of the business. Okay, now what are the main challenges you face in this journey and how will you tackle them? The mindset, the change on uh, the mindset of everyone, starting uh, at the board, again, senior management, to, to focus on long-term views, uh, to make uh, put less attention on transactions and more on relationships, uh, the outside-in mentality, uh, to learn uh, to look outside at societal uh, needs and, and seek uh, to address um, it in a, in a more I mean, creative and profitable way. It's not only to just do well uh, for, for, uh, or do good for society, but also do well for us. So that combination is critical. It has to be part of the mindset. Uh, then the, the effective integration of this strategy on the different business plans is not easy when you have to make people uh, include everything, all the elements that I, I mentioned on, on, on the business strategy. So that's also a, a challenge here. And finally, data availability, because everything we do has, has to be measured. Um, it, it, hasn't, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't have to stay as a, as a good speech. We have to measure, we have, have to set, and we are setting um, uh, metrics, and we have to measure that. So the, the, the availability of data to measure all this is also, also a challenge, but we're, we're, we're uh, working on that. Okay. All right. Well, Alvaro, it's been wonderful to have you on NYC Floor Talk. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Edith.